Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Hello and welcome back to another video. In today's video, yes, of course, we are going back to Guilty Gear Strive original soundtrack and we're going to listen to and go through necessary discrepancy, uh, which is the Ram Lethal theme. Um, so obviously this is a blind reaction. I've never uh, heard this song before. So what we'll do is we'll go through it once um, all the way through uh, without stopping. And then we will go through uh, the song again afterwards and then we'll stop and start talking about stuff. Um, so yes, um, before we get into it, please do like the video. Um, it does help me out a ton and subscribe as well if you're new to the channel. Also, uh, please do leave a comment, um, on the video too, uh, because it helps the algorithm, but also it, you can leave a comment of suggestions of songs that you'd like to look at in the future. And this was a suggestion, um, from someone in the comments called Tom, um, from one of the previous videos, um, guilty give videos that we did. Um, so thank you for that. Um, and this was their suggestion. So that's what we're going to do now. And please put your suggestions in because I would love to do them as well. Uh, what else is there to say? Have I said everything? I think I have. So like, subscribe, put your comments in. We're going to watch it all the way through, then we'll go through it again. That's basically it. Um, Right, so, yeah, I don't know what to expect with this one. They're, all these songs are also different, so it's going to be interesting. So, as this is a video, we will go into the, the big theme so we can see it. So, as you can see, we're going to be looking at Necessary Discrepancy, the Ram Lethal theme from Guilty Gear Strive in... Three, two, one, go. All right, all right. Ooh. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, oh my god. God, I can't keep up. <laughs> this is crazy. I have a feeling the tar set is going to come up very soon. Right 
Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. Okay. That's oh, such a thick tone, man. Get on! What? What? We got a synth solo instead, not guitar solo. I put my pen down, I can't write anymore. <laughs> oh my god, what the hell was that? You know, you think you kind of have a, after what, I'm speechless. You, you think after, you know, looking at listening to some of these before, or, you know, we've done a few of these now, you think I'm going to have some sort of, you know, I'm going to have an idea of what's going to come up with these. And it ju they just blow me away every single time. That was just mad. There was so much there. There was so much there. So much happened. And I actually, I had to stop writing notes down because I just couldn't keep, well, I couldn't keep up. So hopefully I can give some good analysis later. I, I it just, you know, it, it kind of it keeps that, you know, thread of having, you know, the very heavy guitars and things like that. It keeps that thread, which is nice. But adding all of the synthy stuff and the keyboard, and the keyboard solo and all that stuff gives it is completely its own its own identity, and it really does justice to you know each and every character. It really, really does. These, ah, ah, ah. Uh, the songs just really stand up by themselves. But anyway, let's try and get into it um, and try and uh, 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 look at some stuff through it. So let's start again and let's stop and start this time. Okay. So we get, yeah, as I say, a very different vibe to all the other songs that we've um, listened to so far. Very electronic techno synthy very fuzzy synthy kind of like it's almost like a 
a, a muse like baseline if you, if you listen to the band muse um you'll hear, hear tones similar to that um very fast paced already um just all setting the tone um thought this song is going to be it's going to be a very busy busy song which it is <laughs> That that synth little riff over the top of the guitar and the bass and everything is just the high pitch, the very high one. It's just so good. It's it's so good, man. I I love it. It's just I don't even know what to say. Um, it, it's keeping the, the obviously the the technical or techno theme of the music while allowing the you know the, to still have the guitar here, there so it's nice and high pitched so it cuts through but it it adds so it's just so like frantic and it's just there's so much happening and it's just it's just really really interesting <laughs> I mean, it's cool, you know, the, the the synth pitch shifting that we hear and the muted guitar that we have because we get nice and low because we're obviously going to go into a vocal. But the groove stays because the bass is so good. The bass, the bass line is so groovy. It's just so tight. It's so... I love it when, and I've said this before in other songs, I love it when they utilize the bass as not just being there to play the root notes. Like, it's actually there to, to be an instrument and feel its potential because it's such a good instrument it's so fun when it's used properly um and this is an example of that can i just point out as well like where's my hand can i just point out as well because we've obviously just done an initial reaction how different does the start sound to the end like how much of a journey does it take you on it does so much in this song <laughs> You kind of got this, um, like, very low and kind of primal sounding drum beat, and you've kind of got this, like, really kind of jazzy piano, and that's kind of what the vocalist is. is um, it's dramatic, but it's relaxed, the performance, I would say, um, that, that they, they're doing. Um, yeah. It's kind of jazzy, a little bit jazzy. I love this because you could you I like that it the section that I'm going in I like that he uses the synth to create this because you could you could imagine the guitar um you know just bending up and doing what the synth is doing now but just to keep it a bit different I think it's really nice the the layers and the the piano the piano is also so, adds so much to it it, it it just it keeps it grounded, but it's just it just adds that extra tier of of um I need to find a synonym for drama <laughs> because I just say it in every song, but it adds just an extra tier of drama. <laughs> And then it's that the guilty gear guitar tone, which is what I'm going to call it now. Um, just the the fattest tone ever. Um, just driven in, super fast. Um, the drums are just keeping up with it, driving that home, driving that pace. That I mean, obviously we know this is a fighting game, so that's the point of it. But... Just a 
go back to here, which is one of my favorite motifs that we've listened to in any of these songs. But I did find it interesting that they're having the mix of the uh, the female vocalist and the male vocalist, and I'm kind of trying to wonder why. Why? I mean, it sounds great. Um, I'm not, I'm not saying it like that, but um, it's it's there's two personalities. Is there two people to this? Why is there two? Is it just because it sounds good? Which it does, and that's a fair enough reason. But I just find it interesting why why two vocalists for this one. Man, like, I'm just gonna speak about the the vocalist for a second. Like, to create that kind of hard rock sound that is really, it's difficult to do. Like, to have that vocal fry, gritty, um, powerful sound without, you know, with proper technique is really difficult. It's really, really difficult. It's quite a skill to be able to have and to be able to do it and to be able to do it with proper technique and where well, you don't hurt yourself or whatever. It's really, really hard. So it's it's really good. It's really good. Two or one. Black and white two or one. So is that why there's two? I'm sure someone who knows is about the game. Obviously I've not played the game because I don't want to hear any of the songs. Um, I'll play it after we go through the soundtrack. Um, but um, yeah, the, it has to be. It has to be something like that in black and white two or one. Something to do with the character. She's got masks all over a a coat. I've just seen, which you could just see here. That's interesting. Symbi symbiosis. Can she change herself? Um, that was said a few times. Um, where am I? I don't even know. All right. Let's go on. A lot, I mean, the first Guilty Gear song we listened to really reminded me of um, System of the Down. And this vocalist really does remind me of the lead singer System of the Down. Just really big, commanding voice that um, can really sit over really heavy music. Um, and he just does that so, so well. It just <laughs> Now we're building, we've got, you know, the, the, the chords with the hitting with the palm muting and stuff to get that. And we've got to build up into something that's bigger. It's really busy riff. Actually, this riff reminds me of probably some like early 2000s muse as well. I mean, if you've you listened to them, um, listen to, if you haven't listened to them, listen to Absolution, which is probably one of the best albums. But anyway. This hugely busy guitar, um, very fast paced, shouting over the top of it, or you know, singing, shouting over the top of it, very Metallica, you know, or any real me you know classic metal band, really. Then we go like blues, <laughs> you know, like blues call and response, like jailhouse rock, like but heavy as fuck. Like this is crazy, man. <laughs> yes, and this is where we have our, our keyboard solo, which is just madness, madness, man, man.
And we're back to where we started. And that pitch shift right at the top. Really, really nice. play for a bit uh yeah that's just a lot <laughs> yeah as i said there's just it's really great layering of, of a song like this and it would be very very uh, i mean it's very smartly done because it'd be really easy for it to get because there's so much going on um it'd be really easy to get muddy you know and you just can't differentiate anything but it's not at all because um all everything that every instrument is doing within the layers of of the song is complementing each other so you've got like a heavy palm muted guitar but then you've got a high pitched guitar as well and then you have high synths that can cut through and then you've got the drums that are sitting there and, and the bass that's just sitting there really tightly uh, and a powerful enough um singer to be able to get over everything um is why that a song like this can exist because um everybody every part of the song is, is working and it's kind of like a a very heavy loud jigsaw <laughs> Um, put together and it's just pretty well done. I really like as well that you yeah, have the lead guitar, which you can hear just in the back, just following the vocal line as well. It's really nice. so dramatic it's so drama it's just so much what i wrote at the end of um when we listened to it the first time is that the end of the song sounds like the fin like the finale of a musical it sounds like the finale of a a, a two hours of you know music and performance and stuff um the, the the proper climax to it it's that big but then let's do it through again i think there's enough music in there where you could spread it across two hours probably and could create a necessary discrepancy musical um because there's enough there there's enough there <laughs> but i mean that's crazy that's um it's definitely up there with the best songs that we've like one of my all my terms of my favorite songs that we've listened to so far but yeah, let me know what you think. Did you like it as much as I did? Because I thought it was just, this is just phenomenal. It's just, they keep blowing me away every time. Every time they just blow me away. Um, crazy. But anyway, um, yeah, did you like this song? Or did you not like it? Is there anything that you like about it that I didn't talk about? Put that in the comments below. I'd love to hear it. And your suggestions as well into the comments too. So we can go, I can add those to the list. And we can go through the songs that you want to see. It can be from games, can be from other stuff. Um, put those in the comments. Anyway, yeah, I think we'll end the video here. So um, please do like the video if you enjoyed it. And subscribe to the channel. And uh, thank you all so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.